They're kind of offset. the real world huh <laughs> I never thought of that <laughs> why he wanted to take his shoe off to pull the trigger I don't know then every next damn day after we was working and he said that day he says That'll be the last thing I ever do is to shoot myself, which it was. Well, it weren't none of his. Wasn't none of his brains are working. Here. Yeah. Did y'all, uh, did y'all see the Vernon movie? Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah many a time. I think okay, it's, that's, my, it's my favorite. That's what we thought when, uh, <laughs> probably when. Uh, no, when we saw him, we were just amazed when he walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, just that? Just yeah. That? Oh, what a coincidence, huh? <laughs> what a coincidence. Do you have time for another? Would I be able to have his... Oh. Is it straight? <laughs> it is straight. It's straight. Yeah. Wait. It's Jesus. He's the boss. Yeah, certainly nice. Yeah, we were just wondering... If this, this hunting deal is fixing to start in about two weeks. Yeah. He's still hunting? I'm fixing, yeah, I'm fixing to head out for about a month and a half. What area do you usually go in? Right. Yeah, 10 miles in any direction. I'm looking at them almost so I'm just taking them down. I'm talking about all the churches. They're right here. Come out of an old house. 10 miles. the turkey hunter's house he invited us to see his beards and feet. A 13 inch beard. 13 inch beard. I'm about to pass out. <laughs> My heart was just a, a button. <laughs> Sorry, I don't like to talk on video. We're interested. We are interested. Uh oh, what if he wants us to eat something? <laughs> I just ate. I just ate. I would eat turkey if he served me some turkey. I would just chew on it for a while and then use the restroom. Like that. Spit it out. I said that on the video. <laughs> 
10 miles well, in any direction. It would be for art's sake. Listen. Hi. You've been to Silver Springs, Florida? I have never been. This is my first time in Florida. Yeah. yeah. We got a crystal clear creek about 60 miles. It starts running about 20 up and goes goes right along down in there. Comes on down and runs into the Gulf of Mexico. And it's just as clear as the sky. I own land down there and I've drove down there many times. You talk about fishing or they've killed deer standing right at you. Huh. They do. It's everything you can imagine to hunt. Small game hunting. That's my plunder bug. Where's my hunting bug? Plunder's the bad one right there. <laughs> that K5? Yeah. This is mom. Okay, put the... Man, I'll show you something. Let's go. We get a good picture of a wolf. Yeah. Of the what? A wolf. Why, a gray wolf. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a half, half gray wolf and a half uh, Alaskan husky. My home is like a, it's like a camp house to everybody else, but I got the, all the comforts there are in the world here. Some to eat, live everywhere. Look at the raw oysters. Oysters? Wow. Yeah. Make it big, bigger. <laughs> uh, well, that's just a few of the feet that I saved. Here's the ones that was in the movie. Them can be bought, but it takes a lot of money to get them. <laughs> that's the three that you've seen in the movie when I pointed back to it. Right. That's it. I was sitting right over there. <laughs> right, right. Right, right. That's it. You're sitting right there. Oh, I'm sitting down right, right here. I don't know where this deep freeze is. The deep freeze wasn't here then. And I'd point back to it, you know, with my left hand. There it is, right there. I'm gonna put it on line. How much for that? I hadn't really come up with a price. <laughs> no. You gonna put it on eBay or something? Pardon? You gonna put it on eBay or one of those auctions? I don't there? know exactly which way I'm going because I'm not that familiar with it. Right. I'm gonna have to get with someone huh. to go. Uh, I keep a store here at home all the time. <laughs> That's wild pork right there. Wild pork? Yeah. Wild pork. That's fish out of the creek right there. Man. I just bundles of fish. Another day, they're big enough in the washhead. We live. The next thing to Daniel Boone, but it's in a modern day, you know. Yeah. yeah. Let me run in here and get this plaque oh, for you. Probably eat us. Shine! Oh, she heard her name. Right Hello, Sha. Get in there and lay down. Get in there and lay down. Lay down. Get over here and lay down. Did you hear me? I said lay down. Lay down. I'm sure you can tell you she do it any other time. She's probably not used to strangers. No, she's not used to people. down to redo it. You can get a better picture of it. That's huge. Yeah, that's right there. That's the 13 inch one? Yeah, that's it. Hmm. See when a staple come out? Yeah. Hmm. When did you when did you get it that? It fell off of the when I had it hanging and hit the floor. Yeah. 
Man, there's always something to do in this part of the country. Yeah, have a ball. <laughs> How long ago did you catch this one? Yeah, it hasn't been too long, about five, six years ago. Yeah. Killed him on uh, Sunday morning. Uh, January the 9th. Forget what year though. But there's a lot of them up there that's almost, you know, his size. I got some of them in my fireplace under there that you wouldn't believe it, the size of the spurs. That's a big spur. But that's the that's the biggest of them weight and beard that I've killed. And when you put it online, anybody come up with a with a seal beard, you know. That's, Figure, I figure that's the best way to run it, a seal bed. Yeah. And let the highest one get. <laughs> I just sold a, a, a picture of a Colonel, I mean a Lieutenant, Lieutenant Ben Adams brought it to me from Jacksonville, Mississippi. And it was General Eisenhower walking down a set of steps of a big, humongous building in uh, France. He was in the middle, Bradley was to his right, and old Patton was to his left. He had his riding breeches <laughs> at that Pearl Handle 38. Yeah. He had it, and they were just finished planning the invasion of Normandy. Planning D-Day. Yeah. Just wow. got through planning. And then one and two star generals all behind them took the briefcases. <laughs> I just sold it. Uh, last Tuesday, I think. Today was a week ago because I, I, I paid uh, the final payment Friday, he paid it in two parts. I sold it for seven and a half. Wow. wow. Seven and a half grand. Yeah. Did you do an auction for that one? No, no. Uh, he learned. He knew I had it. I run an oyster bar for years, oh. for 19 years, and I had it up on my wall at my oyster bar. And he knew that picture I had for years. And he's working for the government over here in Tallahassee. And uh, I seen him the day he bought it downtown. His father passed away and left a building down there and they was coming and secured the doors and stuff, checking it out. And he hit me up about it and he wanted it worse than I did. So I'm getting it to age. I've had four heart surgeries. I got diabetes and that old degenerative arthritis. But I still move and can get around good. But it's because I take care of myself. Uh, I've been comfortable. You can see right there. Yeah. Right there. This should go right on down. Look, man. Right on down. Hmm. And uh, it's it's uh, it's all left up to you in your mind mostly. Yeah. If you like to do something, you can psych yourself into it. I was a Navy SEAL, and so it gives you a lot more determination the way you're trained. You know. I was a Navy SEAL in uh, '54. Five and six. I see some bad shit, son. I see some bad stuff. And one of the reasons that uh, my back and hips is what they are is sometimes we jump in a little shallow water and we ha I really like to. And uh, you know what it is when you jump into a shallow pool, feet first, you, it drives you up. Being young, you wouldn't notice it, you know. By the time you get 65 years old, it start catching up with you. Right. Yeah. Wow. Uh, man, there ain't nobody in the world that enjoys life no better than I do. Hunting and fishing. And I got a son that's the uh, same way. He's, he owns a home right over yonder. And uh, he's diabetic, but he's just about to lose one eye. And he's in the process of having it laser operations and stuff like that. And he's sort of taking it easy now. Would you like to see a couple of, you know what a shell cracker is? No, uh, like a... It's a fish. Oh. It's a pan fish. You know what a brim is? You know what a brim sure. is? It's a love to see it. 
Yeah. Uh, I caught him out of this creek down here. Usually they're about, you know, about that. A, pa a little, little pan fish, you know. But this one is 16 and a half inches long, and he weighed three and a half pounds. Wow. He's about three times bigger than he should be. So he's really wide? Wow. Yeah, he's flat flat type fish, but he's a little longer than a lot of his mates that is sort of round like a plate. And I have a couple of, I have a big bucket in there full of those feet and beards. I didn't have no room to, I, guess, I just got tired of eating fooling with it, you know. I just done them, them few for looks. The first thing I ever put up there was in 72. And the first turkey I ever killed was in 47. Wow. And I kill, I've killed a shit in a minute. Box car wasn't those like turkeys I killed. <laughs> now, come on in here. There's so many up there, it's amazing. Uh -huh. It's amazing, so many. You know how you, you know how you kill these? They several different ways. But in fall of the year when they're not mating. They got a boss tom like a rooster in the chicken yard, you know. They got hens and they got their fryers. That's where they are in the wild. And if you can ever bust them up like a covey of quail, scatter them. That's what I want to do. Then I'll call them back to me. Yeah, but you got to be here though when you come back. And uh, you you yelp for them. You sound just like they do a lost turkey call. Have you ever heard of old TV? Yeah, mm -hmm. they, well, pretty much. <laughs> it's a it's a yelping call. It, it's a yelp trying to get back together, you know, scattered, and they're trying to get back together. Uh, well, usually I practice a little bit before I go out hunting, <laughs> but uh, I don't. They do it with them old yelpers, you know, and the diaphragm they put in the mouth and all of that. But I don't do that. I do it with my natural mouth. <laughs> yep. Really you want to do you one? Yeah, sure. please. Yeah, this is this is a this is a young a young young turkey or a hen that's been busted up from the bunches trying to hunt their way back together. You know, call it. Right on. Wow, that's exactly no. how they sound. You're good, good but that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh, really? It's great. Wow. <clears throat> I get a lot better. <laughs> Three and a half pounds. Do you need a light? Oh uh, yeah, maybe a little if you if you don't mind. We're redoing in here today. Uh -huh. I just took a break to go get Mama a sandwich. Oh, we should let you eat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yes, sir, we'll we'll go. Go. We don't want to intrude. It was for her. Here's the beards I was telling you about. See how wide they are? Yeah. If you really want to see, you can't hardly see it. He's very sharp. Yeah, you, there's one of them. I believe it's that one. Time does get built up. Yeah, that that you can pick it. Yeah, there you can see it down there. Yeah, you got that. Right. You can pick your finger with that. It's got a sharp uh, needle point to it. Jeez. You can see that. What do they use that for? Just to That's to fight. Yeah. Yeah, protect us. <laughs> <laughs> Here's this bucket of feet I ain't done nothing to it, I just let it sit. Look at them. <laughs> it's slammed full and down below it's full of beards and all that. Right. I ain't got no place to put it, just stacking them up. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. yeah thank you very much. One, one of these, there's some uh, more stuff that's going to go on the internet. 
my cousin come by one time and took these pictures of all of these and he's sitting there. I'm not in for pictures and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm in for me. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. Huh? That's my name. Wow. That's some uh, broke this week. That's a good picture. You did stills that's for the that? One the, that's the one on the back of the movie cover. Oh. That's it right there. Yeah. I'm in the picture itself. Do it's, what? It's in the jacket, right? Yeah, yeah, the picture on the back is, 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 is the, I mean, of, of the, the movie, the VHS of the film. Uh, does, does Errol still keep in touch with you at all? Or Earl Morris? Yeah. Yeah, that would be best to thank him and I'm the one. He said he's on that couch and I'm the one that named the movie. <laughs> he come, he come into my oyster bar. One eye looking that away, and the other one looking up yonder, and down my hair looked like a hairpin had been on top of it. <laughs> I told him, I said, Earl, why in the hell don't you comb your fucking hair? <laughs> 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 yeah, me and Earl were pretty close. That's uh, him. I'd love to see him. That's that book of defeat. And this was the day my mother passed away. Mm -hmm. I didn't wear that cap to the funeral. The wife has thrown some daggone trimmings out on her somewhere. Or the dogs has dug some up. Yeah. They don't last a day or two and they'll be coming. Yeah, <laughs> take a look. <laughs> wow. I'll drop them at one time. I'll sell them at one time. Wow. We had a lot of fun boys making that movie. Really? Yeah. yeah. They was all green horns from a concrete jungle, you know. <laughs> How many people were down here? They not no concrete jungle down here. <laughs> you, you have to know how to survive in this country. Yonder's my buddy. No, that ain't him. I thought that was a snake. So, so, so snakes on the city council we just found out? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought that was him over there next door, but it's not. Oh. This is driftwood. Right there. This standing up right there? Yeah, oh. there's a piece the wife got out there in the yard. This here creek swamp is and you talk about selling it. That beats anything you ever seen for selling, like cypress knees. The cypress knees they used to make clocks out of, you know, bore holes down. But you better not get caught cutting one of them down, because <laughs> they outlawed it. But the dead driftwood, it's of all different shapes, you know. You flower beds. Man, I bet you could carry a semi truckload up <laughs> around uh, York and the suburbs, you know, where the housing flower beds and wee, wee little gardens is. It, you would have no trouble getting rid of it. And mistletoe, they is tons and tons of it all in the water down there. You could cut it and ship it up there, held right down here at a uh, uh, Walmart. A piece like your finger is like eight and ten dollars, you know. Wow. Mistletoe, but they're for Christmas, you know. So it's legal to cut that though? Oh yeah. Yeah, you could take one bunch of it and make Five hundred dollars. Hell, you could get a thousand bunches in one day. I'll show you some of it. All right? Yeah, I see. I see a thousand dollars right there. <laughs> you see a thousand dollars? I'm not kidding. Where is it at? I mean, I'll show it you. you see in that tree right there on the top right hand corner of them two round balls are extra green. Oh, right. right. In the far left corner, a smaller ball, extra green. Yeah. See that in the top right hand, top of the sycamore tree to the right up yonder, that real big ball? That, yep. Over the top of that house? Yep. And here, right here. Right. Out of the tree right there? Yep. Right in there is a bone. There's a bone right over here to the left. And there's a bone right up in yonder. 
That mistletoe. You see it, brother? It's a parasite. Ah. That's my new gun run rates. Oh, hell, there's one, two, three, four, five. You know, it'd be the week six. There's six pieces in there. Yeah, seven. There's one right there. I'd get some young ones to climb up there and uh, <laughs> take a saw it off, because eventually it would kill the tree. Now you can see that good of young See it all in them trees going down in the swamps and young It's just everywhere. Look at the top of that pecan tree, you know. Yeah. But there's low hanging bushes down on that creek. And I take that blue boot. And you take them little old clippers and you clip them. It, 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 all of them low bushes has got them. There's about 60 miles of it. It's beautiful. Wow. I mean, it's beautiful. We yeah. fixing house with cold weather here tonight. Yeah, so we heard the coldest cold that we don't have this year. Like <coughs> yeah, twenty something degrees. Damn, it's gonna be down somewhere in the twenties. I don't like that shit. <laughs> Is there anybody still good. around other than you and Snake from the movie? Yeah, I can't good. Right, Snake still lives around here. Uh -huh. Your friend Snake still lives around here. Yeah, he's right all across town. Anybody yes. else from the movie still live around here? All of your older ones that were sitting on the bench. And all of the older ones is gone. Me and Snake. The sheriff, there might be maybe? Another two. Maybe the sheriff around or something? Oh, there's... that lion son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ross Cole P. Cole thing. <laughs> yeah. Want to add the bullet in there? Yeah. <laughs> The damn car was uh, locked in the shit house pound down the sewage plant, and some of these mean ass boys come by and shot it <laughs> <laughs> in the window. That's the reason I ain't worried about going nowhere with that blazer out there. Yeah. That's one of them old timey ones. It's full time, four by four. <laughs> yeah, full time, four by four. And I tell you what, if you were to come uh, come here and live with me one year and hunt and fish with me the year right, you'll never go back home. No, never go back home. 